Hello, I am Dr. Cool. Have you ever imagined how African individuals will boost up and upgrade the very moment Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered technology touches African soil in full force of commercialization and becomes a household name? When you heard the Western trolls, scavengers, clout, and clowns venting their aggression against Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered technology, calling it a scam or hoax, they are products of planned obsolescence. They are programs designed to cause confusion and sow seeds of disbelief. It's not just to discredit Maxwell Chikumbutso, but Africa of it right to thrive. It's the fear of the brutal storm that's coming. And this storm will leave no stone untouched, as it will be perhaps one of the greatest quantum leap ever recorded in history of humanity. They know and they fear of what's coming is their aggression. Have you ever imagined another more powerful global industrial hubs energing not from Germany, America, Singapore, Malaysia or India but from Africa? Well this is the utopia Maxwell Chikambutso self-powered technology will be jamming the global industrial with in the most beautiful way ever imagined. Think of it like a back door a shortcuts to reboot Africans whose resources is currently the global fuel for technologies. The West have technologies, however, the very fuel and raw material that propels their technology is not coming from any place on Earth but Africa by 80%. Africa is seating on the multi-zillion dollars minerals and human resources untapped. Who will develop this, if you may ask? Well, definitely not Russia, China, America or Germany, but Africa themselves. The world is not interested in helping Africa. They're interested in extracting every drop of both mineral and human resources, leaving Africa empty and desolate, underdeveloped and deep poverty, and perpetual roller coaster of consumption and dependencies. However, all this is about to change. If you are feeling this vibes already, smash that subscribe button and type in the comments section, let's make it happen with Maxwell Chikumbutso. Buckle up, because this is not just another piece of tech news. This is a brutal, earth-shaking and transformative breakthrough that could trigger the most aggressive industrial revolution Africa has ever seen. I'm talking about a development so fierce, so untamed, that it will rip through the very fabrics of our current reality and sew them into something better, something unstoppable. When Chikumbutso's self-powered technology hits full throttle, we are looking at a domino effect across agriculture, energy, productivity, and economic stability. A ripple that will reshape Africa from the inside out. Let's break it down sector by sector. One agriculture from surviving to thriving for decades africa's agricultural potential has been chained by unreliable electricity and high fuel costs for irrigation systems refrigeration and mechanization but picture this a farmer in rural zambia installing a chikumbutso self-powered generator no fuel, no grid dependency, no rolling blackouts. Irrigation without limits. Seasonal farming becomes year-round farming. No rain, no problem. Pumps powered by self-generating systems will run 24-7 without extra cost. This means two, even three harvests per year instead of one. Cold storage expansion, food waste, currently at 40% in some regions, will plummet as fresh produce can be stored for weeks or months. Imagine a network of cold rooms in every village, powered without a single drop of diesel. Mechanized farming for everyone, tractors, harvesters and processing machines could run cheaply and indefinitely, giving even small farmers the output of large industrial farms. Agro-processing revolution. Raw produce will no longer need to be exported unprocessed. Africa will grind, mill, can, freeze and package its own harvests, keeping value and jobs at home. Result? Agriculture shifts from subsistence to surplus production, feeding not only Africa but becoming a global food supplier. 2. Power and energy, breaking the chains of dependency. 
Right now, much of Africa's energy narrative is dominated by two things, imported fuel and foreign controlled grids. Chikumbutso's self-powered tech obliterates both decentralized energy freedom every home school clinic and factory could generate its own power no need for billion dollar national grid expansions that take decades elimination of power bills imagine entire cities with no monthly electricity costs families redirect that money into education business and investment end of fuel scarcity drama the constant dance of oil price hikes, currency exchange shocks, and fuel shortages becomes irrelevant. Off-grid expansion. The 600-plus million Africans currently without reliable power will leapfrog into energy abundance overnight. Result. Africa becomes the first continent to run largely on cost-free, self-sustaining power. 3. Productivity and industrialization. Pedal to the metal, industrial revolutions in Europe and Asia were powered by coal, oil and massive infrastructure investments. Africa's could be powered by Chikumbutso's tech at a fraction of the cost. Micro-industries in every town, small workshops could operate heavy machinery without electricity bills. A village with one sewing machine factory becomes a regional clothing hub. 24-7 manufacturing, no more downtime due to power cuts. Production cycles run continuously, multiplying output and profitability. Lower cost of goods, with no energy bills, manufacturing costs drop, making African products competitive on global markets. Technology adoption explodes, 3D printing, AI labs, robotics and automated assembly lines once reserved for high-income countries, will be within Africa's reach. Result, instead of importing goods, Africa becomes a net exporter of manufactured products, feeding its own economy first. 4. Security and Stability – Power as a Shield A nation with self-sustaining power has more than just lights, it has leverage. Stable hospitals and clinics, emergency surgeries no longer get interrupted by blackouts. Vaccine storage never fails. Mortality rates drop dramatically. Safe cities, continuous street lighting, powered independently, makes it harder for crime to hide in darkness. Resilient infrastructure. During natural disasters or political instability, communities keep their power, keeping communication, coordination, and safety systems operational. Energy independence as political strength. Countries no longer have to bow to fuel importing nations or global oil politics. Result. Greater security fosters investor confidence, which in turn fuels more development. 5. Economic stability a shockwave in the African economy. Self-powered technology would be a financial earthquake, the kind that levels old exploitative systems and builds new opportunities in their place. Balance of payments improves. Africa spends billions annually importing petroleum products. That money stays in Africa now. Local wealth creation. Every household saving on power bills effectively gets a raise increasing domestic spending, massive job creation, from local technicians installing and maintaining units to new businesses powered by free energy, foreign investment magnet, multinationals will rush to set up production in a region with near zero energy costs, result, currency stability, reduced debt dependency, and an economy fueled from the grassroots upward. Six. Fast pedaling industrial revolution, the final push. Think of Africa's progress like a cyclist struggling uphill with a broken chain. Chikumbutso's tech is the repair and the turbo boost. Technology integration. With reliable energy, schools integrate computer labs, rural towns run internet hubs, and tech startups can operate anywhere. Infrastructure growth, roads, railways, and ports built faster with machinery running non-stop on self-generated energy. Export-led growth, Africa becomes the low-cost production hub of the world, rivaling Asia's manufacturing dominance. 
innovation explosion, freed from the burden of energy scarcity, African inventors have room to dream bigger and create boldly. Result, the fastest industrial leap in modern history, and Africa leads it. Critical considerations, the path won't be smooth. While this sounds like pure gold, a few realities must be acknowledged. Resistance from global energy powers, oil exporters, utility monopolies, and foreign investors dependent on Africa's fuel dependence may sabotage or discredit the technology. E. Implementation challenges, mass production, distribution, and maintenance must be handled efficiently to avoid bottlenecks. Political will. Leaders must prioritize widespread access over elite control to prevent the tech from becoming another tool for inequality. The takeaway. If Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered technology launches full scale across Africa, it will break the chains of energy dependency trigger an agricultural and industrial boom, strengthen security and economic stability, propel Africa into a homegrown industrial revolution at record speed. And here's the kicker, this isn't just about Africa catching up, this is about Africa overtaking. So, yes, when Chikumbuzo's tech kicks in at full throttle, the African story will flip from consumers to producers, from beggars to power brokers, from the exploited to the empowered. The question is not if it will happen, but whether the world is ready for an Africa running on limitless self-generated power. And trust me, they're not ready. However, Africa is ready, even if the West are not. This revolutionary movement begins with us being self-powered and understand that it's not just about Maxwell Chikumbuzo, it's about us. One last thing. Now that you know the trolls, scavengers, clowns and slaves of the Matrix are real and they are never tired of crying or name-calling, next time you hear a troll calling African innovators a scam or hoax, they are not talking about Maxwell or the innovators but Africa in general. If you let them slide and go free, you have literally walked past anti-Africa troll and destructive skeptics. And that's how each is us are buried and vanished from public sight. It's time you stand tall and strong against your oppressors, uphold your own, for it's not just technology, but our lifeline to economic stability, growth and opportunities to thrive, not survive. One Africa, one product at a time, now, if you will excuse me, gentlemen and ladies, I have a flight to catch and a self-powered car to drive. Bye for now and see you in the comments section.